Well, probably, I'm not sure what's being posted on YouTube. Maybe there's a lot of different videos about various treatments or cures for COVID-19. But I want to point out something. This was actually from Dr. Levy. Uh, curing the uncurable, a vitamin C infectious disease and toxics, toxins. I have this book. I read it several times. Um, got a book on orthomolecular medicine. Um, there's other books I have on, like, you know, using vitamins and things to treat ailments, right? Well, this vitamin C is actually extremely effective, and actually uh, just taking a lot of fruits and vegetables can help prevent problems in the future. That's That's been a well-known fact going back many thousands of years and eons. Um, but I want to give you a quick overview, and I'm going to show you this link, too. I'm going to post this link so you can see this link. You can actually download this link yourself. Introduction to Curing the Incurable by Dr. Thomas E. Levy, MD, uh, JD. Also, he said, amazingly, vitamin C has actually been documented in the medical literature to have readily and consistently cured both polio and acute hepatitis, two viral disease still considered by modern medicine to be incurable, regardless of the treatment used. So this is uh, this is not from uh, you know a blogger. This is from an MD. I'm not an MD, but I'm reading to you the words of an MD. And he's not the only one that said this. This was pioneered by Dr. Frederick Robert Kleiner back in the 1940s. And it was continued on by Dr. Reardon. There's Dr. Cathcart, Dr. Levy. Those are the only doctors I remember off the top of my head, but just dozens of them. But it's still not common. It's still not commonly used. And I could say this is because of the financial factor, because uh, our pharmaceutical industry globally is $1.5 trillion as of even uh, a few years ago. So vitamin C, now vitamin C, I know you think it's a vitamin, right? Well, when they label these things, they didn't know what to call them. They call them vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin C, vitamin D. Like vitamin D, D, as in delta, is actually a, uh, a pro-hormone. Vitamin C is not exactly, it's not, you know, it's not like a simple vitamin. It's, it's, it's known to, it's an absolute antiviral for one. And number two, it's known to help aid and heal the body. Um, that's another thing. So vitamin C has reversed and often cured many of the other common viral and bacterial diseases that continue to plague both children and adults. This is why you saw vitamin C go right off the shelves during this COVID-19 scare. Now, I also want to point out Dr. Fauci, the guy that's ahead of uh, you know the disease control in the United States, uh, who's also a good friend of the guy out of WHO, the uh, World Health Organization, the guy, the head of the World Health Organization, I forgot his name off the top of my head, but he, do, he doesn't even have a medical degree, and Dr. Fauci praises this guy. Dr. Fauci, in his uh, other literature, said that the death rate uh, for COVID-19 was less than a fraction of 1%, but in public, he's saying something else. So, I'm, you can look at BitChute, there's going to be something up there, you can look at it, I'm just going to read, the guy said I can re-upload a video, I said, oh, I'll just do that, that's good, it's simple, keep it that way. Um... But I'm going to give you this, the YouTube version here. So, um, and who knows? Because the way you're going with YouTube, anything, anything you say, can do whatever you think, could be illegal. Um, who knows? But a great deal of evidence exists to further demonstrate that properly dosed vitamin C. Now, properly dosed means usually intravenous, unless you're taking a special form of liposomal vitamin C. So, if you're taking properly dosed vitamin C, you can reverse and, and almost always prevent other significant medical conditions such as cancer and heart disease. Uh, the best documented and the most compelling evidence in cure, in, in, involves the cure of multiple infectious diseases that cause great suffering and often kill and incapacitate. Now, if you remember back when my little kitty cat, Gold Digger, Gold Diggy, Tiffany Gold Digger, the cat, she had cancer, advanced cancer, and I caught it too late. I mean, it, was, it just came on real, real fast. And then, uh, you know, I was... I, I kind of reversed parts of it, but she had an organ breakdown. But I was using the uh, vitamin, lift liposomal vitamin C with her, the Parazapper. That's something else you might want to look at, the Parazapper. And it's like, you know, you got limits because you can't create life. We don't know where life really comes from. You know, that's uh, that's the thing that you, you can't really, you can say the body is composed of all these chemicals and stuff. You can say we're composed of mainly of water, and then the next element is carbon. Well, you know, water and carbon aren't life. You can take all the chemical composition of the body, put it together in a lump. Is it life? No. So this is why you got limits on 
you know, what you could do medically. But the thing is, there's been other things been known that can greatly enhance and give the life a boost, the vital boost, boost it needs. Vitamin C is very cheap. This is probably why it's not used. So to give an example, back in 1949, at the height of the polio epidemic, when all young parents lived in fear of their babies and young children would be the next victims, you know, this is when you'd be walking around in crutches because of the disease affected your nervous system, Frederick R. Kleiner, MD, published that he successfully cured 60 out of 60 polio patients who had been presented to him in his office or an emergency room. Now, he used intravenous vitamin C, intravenous. It wasn't plain oral vitamin C. Now, that's where you need, a, you need a doctor or a medical professional. Problem is, they won't do it. They will not do it. So, in other words, say COVID-19 was this big, big, big problem, which, you know, we're seeing. I can, I'm gonna, you can look at bit shoot. Something else can be posted up there. You can see the empty hospitals and all this kind of crap. But um, you're going to see that, you know, you would see, even if it was this big problem, it could be alleviated Im immediately with low cost, without having major shutdowns in the economy and all that type of stuff. So, furthermore, uh, Dr. Kleiner reported that none of the 60 patients treat, he had treated had any residual damage from the polio virus that left its survivors crippled for life. Major victory for vitamin C. So why is it not being used? <laughs> Satanist. Anyway, anybody who has, who has read the above information must surely be wondering how such a dramatic cure and treatment for polio, hepatitis, and other infectious diseases like the flu could possibly have been overlooked by so many caring, intelligent physicians and researchers. There is no simple explanation for such a situation. Yes, there is. They don't care. They act like they care, and they're intelligent enough to freaking go with the money. There you go. It's called selective intelligence. It works the same way with the police and the military. Selective intelligence. What's best for my career? <laughs> so... You know, the thing is, it's just criminal that they don't do this, and they never will do it. And it's like, this is like, like I said, this has been known. Yeah, here we go, 75 years. Uh, this was, now the vitamin C has been known for 75 years. And here you're talking about something else about the brain and the ketogenic diet. Well, a mother wanted to use natural therapies with the ketogenic diet. And the neurologist only ridiculed her, labeled the mother... Um, you know, this and that. And re it said reports of success with the ketotonic diet were antidotal and even threatened to use legal action to keep her from transferring her child to John Hopkins in Baltimore to try to diet and avoid surgery. So he wanted to, he wanted that sale of surgery. So hard sell. That's the way it goes. And this is what's going on with this. That, and then, you know, I can tell you, I'm not going to say any more beyond what's going on with this. Don't look at this freak. If you're going to waste your time looking at Beat Shoot all day, go ahead. I mean, not Beat Shoot. YouTube, go ahead. And uh, Beat Shoot has actually got a lot more information on it. It's like far better than the old YouTube ever was. And um, you're going to get some real, real deal information. You know, you might want to take other vitamins like vitamin E and vitamin D along with your vitamin C. But, you know, it could prevent a lot of other diseases and a lot of other problems that we have in, in uh, the, the problems that we Americans have in general. But the problem is most people aren't even doing the basics. Now, I've always been taking a lot of vitamins every day for, like, years. I'm not changing my routine. I'm not upping it. I already take about 10,000 milligrams of vitamin C every day as it is. So I'm not changing. I'm not changing nothing. I'm not worried about this stupid disease. So, um... What I'm going to be doing, I think, is uh, we're going to be uploading more and more videos on BitChute. If you want to waste your time looking at YouTube for propaganda from the government, go right ahead. Or whatever you want to call it. Let's not call it the government. Let's call it the power that controls everything. The money powers that control everything. You notice there's something really fishy with this COVID-19. Yeah, I know there's people dying. I saw it on CNN. Yeah, yeah you know what? Like I said back in the other video from, I don't know, several days ago, that the 2017-2018 flu virus season, which was the worst flu virus season in the United States since 2009, 
So that was a couple years ago. That was a bad season. 61,099 deaths and almost an, almost a million hospitalizations from the flu. There's nothing like this going on this year. But they got the whole country on lockdown, huh? You know what? I got oh, I can't, can't tell you too much on here because this is uh the evil the evil platform. So if you want to find the truth, freaking truth, go to Bit Shoot. If you want to drop me a couple dimes, go to Bit Bit Shoot. Don't uh, there's not going to be any link to drop me a couple dimes on YouTube because I don't I don't want you even going on this. I don't even want I want people migrating over to Bit Shoot and hopefully it survives. <laughs> I mean, I hope it does. Um, if you actually see my any of my uh, videos up on BitChute and there's a green button there that's PayPal that goes to me it doesn't go to freaking BitChute if you want to do two to five bucks or something like that whatever fine you know I'm, I'm not trying to look for like uh, you know if you're an, if you're a Russian oligarch you want to throw something with a lot of zeros in there yeah I'd appreciate that too um, but uh, if you're just an average person that don't have much money you, you can do two to five bucks or something so I'm going to be working on this all the time and I want to put out common sense things um, but the problem is I can't I can't do this on YouTube. They will not allow it. I mean I don't even know if they'll allow this for crying out loud. I don't even know what their standards are anymore. No clue, no idea. Their standards are all over the freaking place. And um, I want to leave you with this thought. If there's a channel on, uh, I don't give a crap if you think they're a truther or whatever it is. If they're big and they're on YouTube and they're complaining that oh I might get deleted any minute and you still see ads and or they got uh, they're running ads for their own products and they're making loads of money through their own products or made or they got you know hundreds and hundreds of thousands of subscribers and they're still up on YouTube you know they're leaving out some very pertinent information that's the only reason they're up on YouTube so if you, you can freaking waste your, your time all day there is trying to find out the truth it's not gonna be on YouTube Sorry, uh, but yeah, you know, this book, I knew about this book for some years. Um, see, I'm not somebody that, okay, I'm not a doctor, but this is the other thing. I'm intelligent. I know I talk plain and everything like that. I know I told people a few times my IQ was measured many years ago as one at 130 at two different occasions, a decade, a decade apart from each other, 130. That's considered highly gifted, not genius or whatever it is, but gifted. I have been reading extensively all the books about, you know, nutrition, what what heals, what herbs heal this, what oils work on this, so various methods and also the electronic methods to heal the body for decades. I mean, without having a degree, and I'm, I'm telling you, I don't get my information from um, fly-by-night sources. I usually get them from doctors, doctors or nurses that are kind of like the renegade ones. Like I guess you would say, Doctor e. Thomas Thomas Levy, Thomas Levy is a renegade doctor for putting this information out, and he doesn't really, you know, in my opinion. When I look at this, I'm saying to myself, these other doctors that ignore this, they're about as evil as all hell, because um, when you look at how well vitamin C works against influenza and the flu, basically it's got a hundred percent cure rate if you use enough intravenous vitamin C enough intravenous enough not a small amount you, it, but there's no there's no toxic limit on the vitamin C intravenously but we got tens of thousands of deaths every year from the flu in the United States probably virtually all of them could have been I wouldn't say like at least 90 percent of them could have been 100 percent prevented with intravenous vitamin C did you think the medical people give a crap no they don't they play ignorant it's called like selective intelligence. They're very intelligent when they, when they have to contrive something to, to make them money. So very few people are really that honest, I think, in the medical profession. They're pretty bad. Uh, so, and that being said, which like I said, you know, I don't even know if that's going to fly on this wonderful freaking platform. But uh, yo, you want to get the freaking real information? Go on to bitch you. I'll probably upload this video to both BitChute and YouTube, and I've been noticing that it's been taking me an extremely long time to upload a video to YouTube. I've been finding out they upload faster to BitChute versus YouTube. They might be throttling me back. You know, they might be having a thing where it takes me longer to freaking up. They used to be go up. It used to be the other way around. 
It used to be that YouTube for video. When I uploaded a video to YouTube, the same video, the YouTuber bit you. The one going up to YouTube beat out the one going to bit you by a miles, you know. Now it's the other way around. So um, they're probably be playing some sneaky games for all you know. So anyway, over and out. See you on BitChute. If you want to make, if you want to drop some contribution down there, I appreciate it very much. Thank you. Uh, I mean, I'm not looking for big bucks or nothing. I mean, I mean, if you're like a multi, multi, multi billionaire and you watch this video and you want to, you think you found out about vitamin C through me and it's going to save your life, yeah, you can drop me a big contribution. But I kind of doubt that's going to happen. Anyway, over and out.